Yeah, yeah. It's your player partner, like you, man. I'm back. You dig? This time, we got Sean Carter and Aunt Glizzy getting into it about Wale. And is he, the? I guess, his contributions to DC. Um, I, I mess with Wale a lot. I feel like he's one of the dopest, but at the same time, he's kind of one of the most slept on. But he got hits, though, but I think he could. I mean, he still got a ways to go, though. So, you know, he got more hits in him. Let's go. Shout out. Hey, shout out Say Cheese, Sean Cotton, man. Y'all go subscribe and go view their content, man. Shout out Sean Cotton. He don't never put up no fight and harass people who react to his shit. I never heard nothing bad about him. Um, so go subscribe to them. You know, we looking at the content. Hit that like button on my, on my video right now if you will. And let's get into it. I wanted to talk to you about this. I feel like you expect too, well, the city of D.C. expects too much from Wale. Wale, he's a household name. Yes, he's a big name. But I don't think Wale is satisfied where he's at in his own career. You get what I'm saying? So why would he be the biggest hit? Because he is. He is the biggest from D.C. I can say that on the mainstream level. He's, he's the biggest artist from D.C. right now. So why is Duty Low, who signed a little Dirk bigger than everybody in the DMV, and Wale the biggest person here? Make it make sense to me. <laughs> well, that is a good point, Aunt Glizzy. Um, Duty Low is signed to a super major rapper, though. So he kind of got an automatic cheat code. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he... I, I fuck with... Du mm, I'm trying to cut. I mess with du Duty Low music, though, but... He does have a Chico. You know what I'm saying? He's not such an upper echelon. He's not a J. Cole where it's like, he just, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So he just got a better backing. He had a bigger backing. Y'all don't really, I don't think nobody, who in D.C. really got, who can really back? Maybe Shy Glizzy can back somebody. Wale. Fat Shrill. Um, Y'all ain't got so many people that can really back like that. And at the same time, Dirk got more backing than any of them people I just named. You know what I'm saying? So... Don't sit in that chair if you can't take them orders, bro. I'm not, don't be the don't be the manager at McDonald's if you ain't trying to come in here and tell these people how to cook these fries and how you want to run this business. He could have been a he could have been anything else. Why would you want to be the biggest rapper here? The biggest rapper here gotta pass it down. Yo, Gotti will never let the people in Memphis go through what we go through in the DMV. Just know that. Hmm. If Yo Gotti was Wale and he was from the DMV, would the DMV rap scene be different? Hey, that's a good point, bro. That's a good point. But you know what? I, I, nobody from the DMV has had, like, no bread, like, enough to where they can just put, magically put somebody on. You know what I mean? They can put you in, but I don't know. Lie. It's because he's sitting in that chair not doing nothing. He's not trying to let nobody pass him. Anything go past him, his power is gone. He's not a street guy. He don't be in the streets. Nobody going to vouch for him. Ain't nobody even tripping on Wale. He ain't on nothing. Like, he got literally, like... Bus boys and pause music. Like, it come with a black and salmon and rice and asparagus. <laughs> Yo, so basically you're saying Fat Trail got on the interview lying. Yeah, because all he got to do is tell me one person that's on in the DMV because of Wale, and he told the truth. That's it, that's all. So basically he got on there and lied. Basically, I got a brand, bro. If I'm your homeboy, at least tell the truth. Don't salt my brand. Because now I'm preaching while they don't do nothing for the DMV. And you preaching he do do something for the DMV. But you lying. And I'm telling the truth. But you trying to make it seem like you telling the truth. We not going to do that. And then on the end of that, you going to put, he ain't tolerate no disrespect. It's not disrespect. It's the truth. That shit, that was kind of confusing. I ain't going to lie what he said. But um, I think they thinking, I think he thinking too deep into it, man. While they not, he don't have enough. He, though he is one of the dopest of all time, he still hasn't, he himself don't have a, enough pull, and he been in it for a minute, you know what I'm saying? You can get next to him, but he can't just catapult anybody, you know what I'm saying? Drake could do that. Lil Dirt can do that. Um, who else? Young Boy could probably do that. Um, Lil Baby can do that. You gotta have a rank and clout like that, you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. My whole argument is he don't do nothing for the DMV, which is he don't. That's the whole argument. Like, why are we still arguing with the truth? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I mean... I agree with you. I'm not from D.C. I don't really know the politics of D.C., but... That's the truth. Wale can only do so much, man. We got to be men. 
we got to be men and create our own opportunities as well. You do, but you got to sell that. When well, that's just like, all right. So if you, that's just like telling Moneybag, yo, Gorilla, everybody else that's signing, every rapper, that they got to do it on their own. Yeah, but Glorilla didn't, nobody lifted her up. She made a hot song, yeah. made a hot moment, and then the opportunities came. Where Glorilla, nobody, where Glorilla from? She from Memphis. Where your Gotti from? Memphis. Okay, if I become the biggest rapper here, is Wale going to take me to the next level? Let me ask you this. Who in D.C. had a crazy moment and nobody lifted him up? Who in D.C. had a crazy song, a viral song on TikTok and didn't... And didn't get any offers and didn't get any looks and they dropped the, a lot of DC rappers to me I'm not from DC a lot of DC rappers dropped the ball on their own and I don't want to put it on Wale and I don't know have no connection to Wale you thinking record deals and pitting people on what I mean like the culture the mascot of the brand like you see how Chief Keef and everybody that's like Chief Keef popped off after that a whole generation of people we ain't DC ain't Wale it's not it's not gonna be the uh the bus boys and pulls rapping in that it got to be like a real person or like a real representation that's all yeah. I'm saying I ain't talking about the contracts the deals or nothing our mascot is Wale I'm gonna give you an example put us all in a room and the rappers are mascots we got Wale we losing every category <laughs> <laughs> This, this it's not even crazy. funny. It's like embarrassing, though. It's like really <laughs> hey, embarrassing. Hey, so, so, so let me ask you this. I'm gonna. <laughs> he been too hard on Wale. <laughs> Yo, I want to hear what Wale got to say about this. Put you on the hot seat, and you can't say yourself. If you could pick one, one. If you could pick one DC artist to be the face of DC for the next five years, who would it be? No Savage. He's in jail. Free, free, no savage. Free him then. You know somebody? Kim Kardashian, could we get her? Who? <laughs> free savage. no savage. Hey, shout out to no savage. Free no savage too, man. That was crazy what happened with him, bro. But, I'm uh, talking about somebody that could do something tomorrow. Who could go viral. Who would you put your money on on somebody in D.C. that could, that could go viral and turn around the city tomorrow? That's a hard one. Tomorrow, that'll really turn the city you, around. You see what I'm saying? It ta it's taking you too long. That means it's not Wale's fault. It's the artists in the D.C. area's fault. Because they not putting in the fucking motion. Hey, bro. We, can we can agree to disagree. I don't know hey, what bro. you and Wale... I don't know what you and Wale relationship is. But to me, D.C. niggas ain't putting in no pressure if it took you that long, bro. I just seen Lil TJ put his arm around Wale on the instant story and say, my son, son, a DC nigga would have never went for that shit, nigga. What the fuck is you talking about, man? I'm talking about the character of a man. Wale go to jail, a nigga check his ass in. Wale get his chain took it, that shit gonna be DC. A Memphis nigga smack Wale. It's Memphis versus DC because of Wale. That nigga soft, bro. That's what I'm saying. He don't represent this shit, bro. He ain't one of us, bro. Fuck the rap scene. Fuck all that. I'm talking about as a person, like as a culture. That's like a white man coming here trying to represent my brand. How can he do that? I, I know what type of city DC is. I, I just left there. Really grimy, really, really grimy city. But why does everybody, everybody don't got to be tough. Well, don't bring your ass from here because this tough, this crab is in the burrow here. I'm telling <laughs> Yo. you, all that sucker shit, we ain't on no sucker shit. If you ain't about <laughs> Every, that, don't bring your ass here. Hey, shout out to D.C. for real. D.C. like that, man. You know, I'm from Rich. I'm from Virginia, so, nigga, I know I fuck with D.C. D.C. like that. I ain't gonna lie. I love D.C., man. I fuck with D.C. And we got some of the same, like, lingo and, and, and culture, too, so shout out to D.C. And it's the home of go-go music, man. Everybody don't gotta be in the street. What, what they say, if you can't handle the streets, get on get on the sidewalk. I ain't say be in the street. Well, bruh, he ain't even on the sidewalk. That man in the garage. <laughs> Yo, I we'll we'll agree to disagree. I yeah, feel what you're disagree. saying, but I wouldn't disagree. put it all on one man. Cause all I'm telling you is, bro, that's just like saying, <laughs> bruh. Do it matter on what you, like how far you get a person career or what you do for the culture, bro? Fuck what you do for the career. It's the culture of the people like here. Like Memphis is on because the Memphis, the the the, the sound, the, culture, the lingo, yeah, the culture. Yeah. Wale is not all culture. That's why we not on. That shit is Wale. That shit not even interesting. That shit ain't I, nothing. I, I get what you're saying. That shit is not nothing. 
It can be a dirty ass grimy nigga here with nothing. Don't got nothing while they got. That shit just represent us more because like, that's what this shit I, really is. I feel that. I feel him on that. I understand what he's saying. I mean, y'all just had the cards dealt. Y'all had the Wale card. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Wale tried to put Fat Trail on. Fat Trail is on. I mean, nobody just went through the roof yet, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing. Nick, I seen Wale put, what, Fat Trail on. He did songs with who? A few people. Yes. Wale don't can't represent this is all I'm saying. Like, he can't be a mascot or a face for this. He could take a back seat and, like, take a ride. Somebody... Somebody in another city got their chain took in here. While they couldn't call now one person to get it back. I swear <laughs> to God, like, I don't know who phone. He probably don't even got nobody number. <laughs> what about Big YSL? Official. He from MLK. I know. When you, when you say a name and they name ring off the bell and I don't got to think too much, that's all the magic stamp. Big YSL, official, MLK. They, they, it get crunchy up there. He, he somebody. Yeah. I, I, I like, I like how he move. Yeah, of course. I feel like. I feel like he underrated though. He most he too in the streets. He gotta understand like he gotta separate the streets from the rap. Once he do that, he be in and out of jail because he really like outside. You know what I'm saying? Once he can balance the outside with the rap, he untouchable, bro. Because it's like it's raw. They just love raw talent here. And he's from Southeast. Yeah, he from the ghetto. He from the know. He from motherfucking uh, MLK. Yeah. It get crunchy up there. Mm mm mm. It get <laughs> wicked. <laughs> That nigga and Glizzy funny, man. But I got to agree with him, I guess. I mean, I don't know. DC got a lot of dope artists, though, man. Like, somebody a pop. You got you to stay down, man. Y'all let me know any DC artist who y'all think is the hottest DC artist right now. And do y'all agree with Ann Glizzy saying Wale ain't do nothing for the, I, I can't fully go with that. I get what he's saying. He's not a perfect representation of the type of people they are that somebody would want to really stand behind them like that. And you know, people, other outsiders will respect it, but it's what y'all got. Shit, y'all better link up with the nigga and do some songs, nigga. Y'all let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, man. I'm gone.